Okay. What's up you guys? My name is Madeline. I'm a group exercise instructor. I'm going to be taking you through a butts and guts workout today. It's going to be 30 minutes. Before you start, make sure you warm up on your own. Make sure your muscles are ready to rock and roll. And we're going to get going. So to start, feet are going to be hips distance apart or a little bit wider. We're just going to squat. We're just going to start off by establishing that squat. Don't worry about speed. Don't worry about your mobility or range of motion. Body weight is in your heels. You should be able to wiggle those toes. Squeezing those glutes as you stand and watching out for those knees, making sure that they're not shooting out past those front toes. Good. Breathing with it. This class is butts and guts because everything we're going to be doing today is only going to be focusing on those glute muscles and those core muscles. Breathing with it. And everything that we do today is an ab move as long as you have those core muscles engaged. Breathing with it. We're here for 20 more seconds. Good. Keep it going. Breathing with it. Playing around with range of motion. Maybe you're dropping it lower. Maybe you're doing shallow squats. Breathing with it. In four, we're going to hold it down and pulse. Three, two, one. Drop it down, pulse. Good. Chest is tall, abs are nice and strong. That pulse is that tiny baby movement where you're just moving those body, those legs up and down like an inch, half an inch. Breathing with it, letting those muscles work. You are so strong. I wish we could be doing this in the studio together. I hope you're blasting music right now. Breathing with it. Last 10 seconds, can you drop it down an inch? I bet you can drop it an inch. Eight, seven, six, five. Keep it up for four, three, two, one. Shake it out, good job. Way to set the tone. Moving immediately into a sumo squat. So wide stance, toes to the corners of the room, dropping it down and bringing it back up. Here we go. Moving right into it. Because today is only 30 minutes, we're gonna really be doing things back to back. But listen to your body, take those breaks as you need to. You are making this workout about you. Breathing with it, you'll feel the difference in muscle groups with that sumo. Really noticing it in that inner thigh. Keep it up. Breathing with it. Same thing, body weight is in those heels. Squeezing those glutes at the top. 10 more seconds, you got it. In eight, we're gonna drop it down and hold. Finding that pulse in four, three, two, one. Drop it low, drop it low. Pulse, good. Breathing with it, find that pulse. You are so strong. Forcing your muscles to work here. Breathing with it, here we go. I hope you're listening to music and that it's blasting right now. <sighs> Breathing with it, that those, little, little, what am I trying to say? <laughs> those core muscles are nice and tight, that chest is tall and engaged. Sink it on down, drop it lower for 10. Can you sink it down an inch? I bet you can. Eight, seven, we're doing it together. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, good. Job, find that mat in a tabletop position. What that tabletop is, wrists, elbows, shoulders, they're all stacked below your shoulder and your knees are under your hips. From here, we are going to extend opposite arm, opposite leg out. Bring them in bending at the middle and shooting them back out, placing them down and switching sides. These are called bird dogs. And the slower and more in control you are as you do these, the more effective it is. Breathing with it, you are taking these at your own pace 
And as you're extending, you're making sure that that core is engaged and that, that core, that strength is anchoring your body so you're not leaning or tipping either which way as you do your extensions. We're going to be here for 20 more seconds. Keep it going. 20 more seconds at your own pace. Good. Breathing with it. You are strong. You are capable. Extending those arms and legs out far. Bringing them back in. Give me one last one each side. Last one here. Good job. Shake it out from here. We're going to push up into our high plank position and drive those knees to our chest. Here we go. Drive those knees to your chest. Mountain climbers here. Option, you can be running your mountain climbers or you can be stepping them, but keep it going here. Keep it up. Breathing with it. You are strong, you are capable. Give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, shake those arms out. Woo! That is not easy stuff from here. We are just going to be sitting up. Feet are planted, butt is on the mat leaning back to the point where you feel that core engage, where that core has to work. And we're taking it side to side from here, Russian twist, side to side. Good. Breathing with an option. If you wanna lift those legs up off the mat, you totally can. It's completely up to you. Keep it up here. You got it. Give me 10 more seconds. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Good job. Find your back. Lift those legs up in the air and reach up to those toes. Reach across your body, opposite hand to opposite foot. Here we go. Good job getting those shoulder blades off the mat. With every move that we do today, it's not about speed, it's not about reps, it's how in control you are. You are in charge of your workout. It is completely up to you. 10 more seconds here. Keep it up. Breathing with it for six, four, Three, two, one. Relax your head, your neck on the mat, arms come up. We're going to do a reverse of what we started out with. These are called dead bugs. You're dropping opposite arm, opposite leg, and bringing them back to center. Here we go. Breathing with it. Same thing as before. The slower you are, the more in control you are of your movement, the more effective it is. Good job. 20 more seconds here, moving at your own pace. Keep it going. You've got five. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna bring it up off the mat. Shake those legs out, getting ready to do lunges. We're gonna do step back lunges. So I'm gonna turn to the side for them. Plant those feet. Choose which one you're gonna start with. I'm gonna start with my right. So that means I send my right leg back behind me. I bring it down, back up 
and I step it forward. This is that step back lunge. You can have that small micro bend in your supporting leg. Here we go. Join me now if you haven't already. Just nice and easy step back lunges. There's no rush. These are controlled. These are productive. Good. Core is tight the entire time. That's your stable base that's keeping you balanced. And if you tip over, if you fall out of it, that is okay. Just wiggle right back into it. Also, it doesn't matter what you do with your arms. If you wanna float them with you like I'm doing, that's totally okay. If you wanna plant them, that's okay too. Keep it going here. A little bit longer, six, four, three, hold it down in two, one, hold it down, pulse. Good. So get that stance situated and add that pulse. A little bounce. Option, just hold it. You don't have to worry about the pulse. Breathing with it though. Using those muscles, using that core. What that pulse does is it forces those muscles to work. And it maybe doesn't look like you're doing a whole lot, but you know you're working hard. You can feel it. Last 10 seconds. Can you drop it down an inch? I bet you can. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Step it together, shake it out. Good job. We're going directly into the other side, other leg. So you're switching sides. Here we go, keep it up. You are welcome to take breaks, to take water whenever you need to. Breathe with it. If you fall out of it like I just did, that's okay. Just get back into it. Good. <sighs> Breathing with it, using that breath. You are strong. Keep it going. A little bit longer. Letting your body work here. Thinking about how strong and how capable you are. Don't give up yet. 10 more seconds. Keep it going. We're gonna hold it down and pulse in four, three, two, one. Find that pulse, here we go. Good. Use that breath, it's there to help you. Shoulders are relaxed, back is strong. Keep it going, pulse it here. You got it. Let your body work. Option, you can just hold it here, that is totally fine. You're still gonna get a killer workout. Breathing with it. Knowing you've got 10 seconds left, sink it down an inch. Sink it down for eight, six, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Good job, you guys. When you're ready, we're doing lateral lunges. Take it to the side. Good. Butt is behind you like it's back sitting in a chair. Chest is nice and tall. You are so so strong. Keep it up. And believe it or not, you're basically halfway done with your workout. Keep it going. Side to side. We're here 15 more seconds. Keep it going. We are going to isolate on the right side. Lateral lunge, right side only. Here we go, take it down and up, right side only. Good. Breathing with it, feeling it in that inner outer thigh, in those glutes. Keep it going, you are strong. Give me 10, nine, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three more seconds, hold it down in two, one, hold it down, pulse, pulse, good, or just hold, just hold it low. You are here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out a little bit and take it left side only. Good. Breathing with it. Good job, you are strong. You are capable, you are so, so close to being done. Keep it up. Feel those legs work. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, you've got six, five, four, holding it down in three, two, one, hold it down and pulse, little pulse, or just hold, that's okay, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, you got it, four, three, two, one, shake it out, good job, hit the mat. Find your tabletop position and stand it on up, high plank. This is going to be what we do next. We're gonna do a little plank sequence. So starting high, holding high, you're on your palms. Your core is nice and tight. Belly button is pulled in away from the ground. Your butt is in line with your spine. Then from here, take it down onto those forearms. These are called commando planks, bringing them up and down. We're going back up here, holding that high plank for four, three, two, taking it down, down to those forearms. Good job, holding down here and bringing it on up. Bring it up, hold it up here, hold it up. Take it on down, hold it here, breathe with it. You are so strong. Take it up last time. Last time we've got a long hold, eight, seven, six, five, taking it down to those forearms in three, two, one. Finish it out here, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Drop it on down, shake it out. Good job, hit your back. And we're gonna take it into bicycle crunches. Getting that full extension of those legs, bringing opposite elbow to opposite knee. Here we go, bike it out. When I say hold, you are going to hold on the side you are on. Hold. Go. Hold, other side. Go. Hold, first side. Go. Hold. Other side, last time. Go, pedal it out for 10. Four, three, two, one. Good job, relax that head down to your mat. Plant those feet. Knees are up towards the ceiling. From here, bring those shoulder blades up off the mat, fingertips to heels, penguins. These are working those obliques, those oblique core muscles. I call these penguins because I feel like you look like a penguin waddling back and forth while you're doing these. Keep it up. A little bit longer here. 10, eight, Six, 
four, three, two, one. Relax that head down. From here, we're going to do glute bridges. They look like this. Those feet are planted. Your neck, your head, your shoulders, they are all relaxed down on the mat or on the ground. Hands planted beside you as support. Lifting those hips to the ceiling. Squeezing those glutes as you do. Taking them back down and bringing them back up. Squeezing to the ceiling. Do these at your own pace. And super duper important here, as you're doing those hip, those hip raises, making sure that you're not putting unnecessary stress on your neck. So you're distributing your body weight between those feet that are planted, your shoulders, and your core. Your core is engaged here. So we don't have any pressure on that neck. Getting those hips high, higher than you wanna go, squeezing those glutes together tight. Good, you're taking it at your own pace for eight more seconds and then we're gonna regroup as a team. I'll count us through. Four, three, two, one. Start with your hips on your mat. We're gonna lift them together, bring them up. Bring them up high, squeeze those glutes. Hold it here for four, three, two, one. Bring it down. Take it up, squeeze, hold them high for six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring them down. We're doing a reverse pyramid, working our way up to 10. Bring them up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Set them down. Here we go, 10, nine. Those hips are high, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop them down. Good. From here, fan those knees to one side. We're going to do side crunches. Side crunches. Good. Taking them at your own pace. Breathing with it. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Flip those knees over. Other side. Here we go. Good job. Nice and easy side crunches. You're not pulling up on that neck. Breathe with it. Almost there. Keep it up. You've got four, three, two, one. Good job. Find that tabletop position. And what we've got next are fire hydrants. So what they look like, that's why I'm turned to the side so you can see you're in that tabletop. Core is nice and tight. That's your stable base that keeps you steady, that keeps you strong. From here, you lift up and down. That's one. We're gonna start on our right side and work through fire hydrants. 45 seconds, here we go. You are doing these at your own pace. You're engaging your core the entire time so you're not tipping over as you're fire hydranting. Good, breathe with it. Get that leg high. Over halfway, 15 seconds to go. In 10, we are going to hold that leg up. In four, three, two, one. Hold it up, hold it up. Get that high for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, one, relax it down, good job, shake it out here, little shake out, next leg, other side, 45 seconds, here we go, 
good. Breathing with it. You are moving at your own productive pace. Working those core muscles, working those glute muscles. Keep it going, you are strong. Take breaks as you need to, take water as you need to. You are so close to being done with this workout, almost there. Breathing with it. In 10 seconds, we're gonna hold that leg up. Four, three, two, one. Get it up high for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, child's pose. Little stretch out here, little break. Take it on back. Same, so you're gonna be still in that tabletop position. This time we're going to be doing donkey kicks. So what we've got, knee comes into chest and out to the sky, up to the sky. Here we go. Right leg only, donkey kick. Breathing with it. Keep it going. Breathing with it, that core is your stable base. 10 more seconds here. In eight, we're gonna hold it up and pulse. In six, four, three, two, one. Hold it up and pulse. I should have said this first, but your foot is flexed as you do this, so your heel is to the ceiling. Pulse that for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one little wiggle it out other leg here we go right into it breathe with it foot is flexed you're so close to being done here we go almost there keep it going 10 more seconds till we hold that pulse. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, pulse. Good. Heel is to the ceiling. Pulse it out for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down, good, shake it out. First leg, what we've got, a little bit of a variation. You're going to extend that leg straight back behind you and you're going to rainbow, tapping it on either side of the mat. Here we go. Good. Working that booty. Here we go. 10, eight, six, four, three, two, one. Good job. That is not easy stuff. Other leg right into it. Here we go. Those elbows can be slightly bent. And your range of motion does not have to be tapping either side of the mat. Maybe you're here in closer. Maybe you're just bouncing up and down. That is absolutely fine. Keep it going for 10. Eight, six, four, three, two, one. Shake it out, good job. We are going to end our workout with a plank. Find me in the plank position of your choice. You could be on your palms, forearms, knees, toes but we're gonna end with 45 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Breathing with it. I want you to think about how strong you are, how much your body does for you, and how hard you've worked and how you are not going to give up in these last seconds here. You are so close. You are so strong. I'm cheering you along. Here we go. Let your body work. You've got it. 20 more seconds. 
keep it going. Do not quit. Almost there. You've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Relax. Child's pose. Or shake it out. Awesome, awesome job today, you guys. Thank you so much for working out with me. I'm bummed we couldn't be in the studio together, but I hope you are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. I hope you're staying healthy and have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Thanks for working out with me, guys.